welcome to MS4 and today we're doing a quick get ready with me. I'm just trying to make some decisions today and there's a couple of products that I am making decisions on and I'll try and let you know as we go through them. Um, so I'm going to go back, I'm using the Fenty Ease Drops in shade 3. I'm just going back to the liquid version. Um, so I have a little bit of a refresh on what I think I know um, from using this versus the um, the stick. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna have it today. Um, I'm not putting a primer on because I'm just wanting to see it by itself. Oh, what's going on with it? Uh, I did, I can just speak for myself with the shade. Uh, my shade was the same in um, both the liquid and the stick, G3. Uh, but I can't speak to it for everyone, so your, your mileage may vary. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, we've been finishing up a lot of our TV shows lately. Um, we finished up Loki, uh, which I, no spoilers, I'm just going to tell you like the thoughts of the general. We loved, well, I'm gonna, I adored the last episode. Um, I felt like the rest of the season um, was a lot of faffing about, a lot of we need an unnecessary, you know, chase sequence and blah, blah, blah. And there was a lot of character work that I feel like was just kind of glossed over. Just like, oh, and here's where the character building scene would have been. And then on to the chase scene. Um, so that was a little disappointing that way. Um, but damn, was that a good, good last episode. Um, it did use some of the imagery that uh, the script series that I'm working on right now, um, I had kind of used, but it's not, I'm not one of those people that says, oh, they stole my idea. Like there's nothing new under the sun for the most part. Um, that's why, that's really why screenwriters um, like Charlie Kaufman are really great because they think differently um, than other people do. And so they tend to write a little different scripts than other people do. Um, but for the most part, everybody's having the same ideas. Um, I'm going to be using this again for today. Uh, a lot of puffy eye going on. I woke up about three this morning and kind of sort of slept very listlessly after that. And then I got up about five something to walk the dog. Welcome to dog. Um, but anyway, so I, I don't... Um, it did make me rethink the imagery that I was using for my script, and I actually think that it pushed me to think of something better and more integrated to the story that I was telling. Um, so I'm not mad about that in the end. Um, and it was a damn fine episode. Damn fine way to end uh, the, the series. Um, so that was good. We also finished Sex Education, um, and I feel like also no spoilers. Um, it was one of those things that feels like each of the writers decided, like the, the stories that you have growing up and being different and whatever, and those moments where you, in a perfect world, you would have got to have the discussion with the person that, you know, wounded you or have the reconciliation with your parent or have somebody see you and realize your worth, like, it was like the writers decided, you know, like, if you've seen the pirate movie, it'd be like uh, Mabel going, I want a happy ending. I want a happy ending. And the pirate king's going, a happy ending. Um, but for all of these characters, there were all these scenes that were like, in a perfect world, this is how we would have wanted it. So in a way, like, my partner, he didn't find it as gratifying because of that. Um, because it felt like a little forced that everybody would have a happy ending, um, for the most part, except for one character. <laughs> um, but, and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the bronzer. I'm gonna do some cream stuff because one of the products that I'm wanting to work on is a uh, cream blush. Um, so anyway, it was, it was gratifying and yet maybe a bit like, everybody's have to have a happy ending. And there was also one character that 
they kind of put her into a bad situation during the last little bit just so they could have that situation happen to a character it felt like so but anyway so we're done with that we finished our flag means death um also fairly happy ending that one went dark oh that one went dark um but always nice to see uh mr lucky t there i'm trying to say his name correctly thank you uh, but anyway, so we finished Our Flags Means Death, which is also nice, you know, pirate love. Um, so anyway, we finished that. Um, and now we're kind of looking about, it's basketball season, so we are watching the Heat, the Miami Heat play. Um, so that's nice, uh, seeing all the, the new kids doing well. Um, so, you know, that's not a bad thing. Okay. Uh, products that I want to try out. So I tried, this is the Persona Cream Blush. Um, I got Teddy and Jam um, upon the recommendation, of course, of like Laura May Beauty loves this. There's a couple other people that love this cream blush. Um, I'm not necessarily loving because I like something that really dries down pretty well. So I don't know that I'm loving it, but I want to see about this color because they do make powder blushes uh, in these. So I'm trying to see color-wise whether or not. So if you guys think of any other television sorts of things that I need to be watching, let me know. I tend to skew geeky. That sounds weird. I tend to watch a lot of the kind of geeky programming. I'm gonna just tap that into my brush. brush on this other side see if that does it make me happier with that yeah I wish this because one of the things that I love about like the rare beauty bronzer sticks is how they just they go on so easily and just dry down and they're super easy to apply in stick form but <laughs> and then something strange happened I don't know what happened there, but we're gonna blend that out. It could be just one of those mornings. Okay, and I don't have, I don't have a cream highlighter that I brought out just cause I really wanted to see the, the blush doing its thing. Okay, so we're gonna wear that, see how that goes and see if that's a color that I'd be interested in. For a powder blush, because um, I don't know that I that I love the the cream per se. Um, sorry, I just whacked my lighting. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and for eyes, uh, this is the the short version of the Beauty and the Beast uh, by Sigma. Um, and I pulled out two of the brushes. And I guess I don't have to worry about blinding you. Um, so this. I like this because you could see the the characters. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so I ended up picking up the the whole set for this. So we're gonna go in with Cogsworth. We're just doing a um, more in the neutral look today. Again, my brain may not be completely functional yet. I tried to make me a cup of coffee twice this morning. Um, the first one got cold because of dog, <laughs> because we were having some some snuggling and some petting, and just by the time I got back to my coffee, because you need both hands for that. Like you, you can't just pet the dog one-handed. <laughs> That's just phoning it in. That's for like just couch time when you're doing something else. Uh, but anyway, so we were, and I'm gonna go under the eye a little bit. Um, so anyway, the first cup of coffee got cold that way, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this again. And, um, I don't know, I just got too much milk product in it, and then I wasn't, again, drinking it fast enough, I got distracted, and it got cold. So we're <laughs> third time's a charm for coffee, hopefully.
Okay, so then we're gonna go in with Forbidden, the deep, because I think we're, we're just, look at that, oh, yay. So beware as you're using Forbidden. It's very dark. I'm gonna come back with the, the pencil liner brush to really get a little more specific with that one. This is just a very deep brown. Okay, go back in with Cogsworth. using the other side of the brush to warm that up. Okay, and then you've got a couple of Enchantress and Be Our Guest kind of for your shimmers in this one. Um, we're going to go with Enchantress because it's a little more on that beigey side. We're going to apply with a fingertip and see. Um, Sigma has a, I think they're doing a 40% off, like early Black Friday. Everybody's doing early Black Friday this year. So for those of you who are worried about sales, um, so <laughs> Sigma, early Black Friday. Um, but you'll probably see a couple more before it's over. Okay, I'm going to clean off, maybe just a second, let me just get uh, my finger, my favorite application tool. Um, and we're going to do just a little bit of the Be Our Guest in the corner. Well, let's do Bell in the corner. We're just going to take a little, little tappity tap, tap, tapper, tapper. And do a little Bell. Again, this palette here was my pick for uh, best giftable out of the set. So just a little bit of that bell. Just a little bit of that bell. All right, and I have really loved this pencil brush out of the set from Sigma. So like, this has been really nice. It's been a good one. Um, so I'm gonna go back into Forbidden. The other is you've got the deep blue of Beast there, but I'm not trying to get all multicolored on you. Just keep it in it. Technically, navy is a neutral, they tell me. <laughs> so I think you're buying cheese. But I'm just really loving this pencil brush, this little flat. I don't know if it's technically a pencil brush. I'm, again, brain is off. Um, liner, there we go. It's a liner brush. The pencil brush are the pointy tips. Anyway, okay, I just about whacked my nose with that, so we almost had nose color. Um, all right, so that is that. Um, we're going to apply some mascara. Okay, so I'm feeling all the holiday coming on. We decided to keep our all our pumpkins and fall decorations up until Thanksgiving, um, but then I do have some holiday decorations. Um, we're a multi group here we celebrate the uh, Hanukkah and Christmas we just like all the holidays um, so we just we have some lights and some decorations for after Thanksgiving so we're gonna do that soon kind of keep festive which is helpful whenever you're slogging through work stuff um, I'm feeling like I'm wanting to be writing again and I took a little brief hiatus because work was just kicking my butt. Uh, we had a sponsor audit, so there was a lot of cooks in the kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm feeling that desire to get back to, to writing on the side. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on. And then again, in between our sportsing of the heat, I'm actually wearing old school heat. This is the uh, 
Tyler Johnson will dunk on you. Um, Tyler Johnson has not been with the Heat for a while, but I really liked him. Um, so I keep wearing the shirt. All right, I'm gonna do lips really quick. This is also from the Beauty and the Beast collection. And this is the, the deepest color they have in that, which is not terribly deep when you get it on, but I do like it. Um, these are great glossy balmy sort of things. Lip cream is what they call them. But I really do like this formula and it feels really good on the lips. It feels both, you know, it's just very nice. But anyway, so we'll make some decisions on this um, and we'll get back to you. Anyway, hope everyone is doing well and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.